symmetry is quite a common term used in day-to-day -day life. Have you ever observed the reflection of landscapes on the surface of water in a pond or a lake? Every object above the surface of water has an exact duplicate below on the surface of water. Let us observe a butterfly. When it folds its wings, each part of a wing exactly fits on the corresponding part of the other wing. This balance in the arrangement of parts is known as symmetry. The architectural marvels are beautiful because of the principle of symmetry. In this chapter, we will learn about symmetry. Here we will learn about symmetry. Symmetry is quite a common term used in day-to-day -day life. Have you ever observed a leaf? When you fold a leaf into two equal parts, each part of the leaf fits exactly on the other part. In nature, we find plenty of things having a sort of balance in the arrangement of parts. This balance in the arrangement of parts is known as symmetry. There are many kinds of balances or symmetry such as point symmetry, line symmetry, plane symmetry, etc. Symmetry We see many things around us in different shapes like triangle, circle, etc. Different things around us, such as leaves, flowers, insects, items related to daily usage, such as glass, plates, brushes, buckets, jugs, etc. Out of those things, we see things which have two equal halves, that is, they can be divided such that both the sides look equal. This is symmetry. Some things or objects cannot be divided into two equal halves, so they do not have symmetry. Things which can be divided into two equal halves, rectangle, circle, triangle, English letter I, English letter C, bucket, aeroplane, scorpion, spider, Eiffel Tower, scissors, things which cannot be divided into two equal halves. Tree, table lamp, banana, key, hockey stick, axe, tap, boomerang, saxophone. The midline is called the line of symmetry. It can be vertical or horizontal. The vertical line starts from the top of an object and continues to the bottom of that object. It is called the vertical line of symmetry. Let's see some pictures having vertical line of symmetry. Triangle Circle Rectangle English letter A, English letter I, bucket, plate, spider, Eiffel Tower. There are more lines of symmetry. One of them is the horizontal line. A horizontal line starts from the left and reaches the right side of the object or vice versa. Let's see some pictures having horizontal line of symmetry. Scissors Scorpion Aeroplane English letter D English letter E English letter C English letter K Symmetry. 
Hi, this is Taki. He will tell you how to make an interesting painting using ink and paper. See steps to follow. Take a white sheet of paper. Fold it in half. Take different colors of wet paint or watercolor. On one side of the paper, put colors of your choice on the middle line, and some other parts of the paper. Fold the paper carefully and press it lightly. Open it slowly and see a design pattern on it. What do you see? Yes. You had put the color on one side of the paper, and got the same pattern on the other side of the paper. Here we can see symmetry in both the sides of the paper. Reflection. We all look daily at our own reflection in the mirror. We see a flipped image in the mirror. A reflection is a flip image. Of an object over a line. Let's look at two very common reflections: a vertical reflection and a horizontal reflection. Reflection symmetry. Let us watch a few more pictures, which are reflections of images. Line symmetry. A figure has line symmetry if it can be divided into two identical parts in such a way that each side looks like the other's mirror image. For example, butterfly. If a figure cannot be divided into two identical parts, we say the figure is asymmetric. For example. The given figures cannot be divided into two identical parts; therefore, they do not have any line of symmetry. Hence, they are asymmetric. Line of symmetry: the line that cuts a shape or an image exactly in two identical parts is called the line of symmetry. Different lines of symmetry. Let's look at. Different lines of symmetry: horizontal line of symmetry, vertical line of symmetry, diagonal line of symmetry. Various shapes have one or more lines of symmetry. For example, a butterfly has one line of symmetry, that is the vertical line of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry, that is. The vertical and horizontal lines of symmetry. It does not have the diagonal line of symmetry. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. A square. Has a horizontal, a vertical, and two diagonal lines of symmetry. So a square has four lines of symmetry. Let us see how many lines of symmetry does a circle have. One horizontal, one vertical, one diagonal, one more line of symmetry, one more. One more, and so on. Here we can see that a circle has infinite lines of symmetry. Let us now look at some more examples of lines of symmetry around us. Eiffel Tower, scissors, rotational symmetry. If a shape or an object is rotated or turned around its center. And it fits onto itself before a complete rotation or turn. Then the shape is said to have rotational symmetry. Let us rotate a figure and find out how many times it fits onto itself. One, two, three, and four. 
so the figure fits completely four times onto itself. Order of Rotational Symmetry The order of rotational symmetry tells us the number of times a shape or an object looks exactly the same or coincides with itself on a number of positions when it completes a rotation of 360 degrees. Order 1 implies no true rotational symmetry since a full 360 degrees rotation was needed. Let us look at a shape. Now let us rotate the shape and see how many times it looks like itself. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this shape has the rotational symmetry of order 4. Let us look at a few more examples. This is an isosceles triangle. Let us rotate it. After rotating it, we see that it does not look like itself. So it has no rotational symmetry. This is an equilateral triangle. Let us rotate it. 1, 2 and 3. It looks like itself thrice. Therefore, it has the rotational symmetry of order 3. Let us see some more pictures. 1 and 2. The shape fits onto itself twice, so it has the rotational symmetry of order 2. 1, 2, 3 and 4. The shape fits onto itself four times, so it has the rotational symmetry of order 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The shape fits onto itself six times, so it has the rotational symmetry of order 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. The shape fits onto itself eight times, so it has the rotational symmetry of order 8.